My name is Roslyn. I am from UK. In June 2021, I had a severe pain in my lower abdomen and it lasted for two days. On the third day, my husband took me to the doctor and the doctor said, the pain is because of the urine infection and with medicine, it will pass off. And as the doctor said, with medicines, I felt better. In July, again the same pain occurred and the same night when I touched my stomach, I felt a big lump in my right side. The next day we went to the doctor again and showed him the lump. He arranged an appointment for an ultrasound on the 25th August. And the ultrasound showed a 14 mm lump on my right ovary. So another appointment was booked for a CT scan. On 13 September, they called us to discuss the CT scan and said the lump looks cancerous, but we can't say anything unless it is removed and tested. And because the lump is on the ovary, both the ovaries and the uterus have to be removed and it will be a major surgery. On 16 September was my surgery and by the grace of God, the operation was successful and the lump was sent in the lab for testing. On the 2nd October 2021, I was diagnosed with second stage ovarian cancer and I have to take six cycles of chemotherapy. The minute I heard this, I was bombarded with thoughts. What will happen to my husband and sons? Every now and then I was complaining to God, why me? Why do I have to suffer so much? I was not getting sleep at night. Even if I went to sleep at 12 a.m., I would wake up at 3 a.m. and not get any sleep. Then one of my husband's friend, who was also going through chemotherapy, gave me Sister Simitra's number. She prayed over me and gave me understanding of the scriptures. John 1.1, 1, 1, 1 Peter 2.24, 2 Corinthians 1.20, Mark 5.28, and Revelation 19.13. And to bless the food and drinks, John, sorry, 1 Timothy 4.4-5, 4 and John 6.56, and to pray and the prayer drinking the blood of Jesus. I had my first chemo on 18th October. On the day of my chemo, Sister Sinitra gave scriptures to bless the medicines and doctors. The scriptures were Mark 16, 18 to bless the medicine and Isaiah 11, 2 to bless the doctors and nurses. After the chemo, when I was feeling weak and drained out, I was saying Joel 3.10 and Philippians 4.13. Sister Sumitra sent me the PDF of the white book and told me to read concerning worry and fear prayer. The very first day of reading it, fear left me and I started to get good sleep at night. And the, and the daily faith declarations. Then Sister Sumitra told me to recite on the rosary beads 50 times each in the morning, afternoon and at night. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law by becoming a curse in my place. Thank you Jesus for healing me by your wounds. All the scriptures and teaching have built my faith and belief in Jesus. Praise God. This journey helped me to have a wonderful experience with God.
now in any situation i don't worry i pray to god and ask what i want believing in faith that i have already received it sister simitra gave my number to brother savio as me and ba- brother savio are in the uk and it would be better for me to have a local person ministering me on my journey brother savio used to call me to know about my health and was also giving me the understanding of the scriptures now i am completely healed and the doctor said that there is no need for any more medical treatment my husband left the job to take care of me from october to february he was without job but there was no le- but there was no lack god took care of everything praise god sisters i thank sister simitra and brother savio for being with me throughout my journey i would also like to thank the jcilm ministry led by brother johnson as we get the understanding and resources from the ministry thank you jesus praise you jesus i love i love you jesus all glory to you jesus i would also like to share another testimony to glorify my god i had a lump in my left breast so on 3rd march 2022 i had a breast mri scan appointment and the result showed that the lump was normal but they detected one more lump in my right breast which doesn't look normal i got a letter that i will have an appointment on 25th march for an ultrasound and a biopsy will be conducted if required i told simit i told sister simitra about the appointment she told me not to worry and to cancel all the bad reports in jesus name and believe in him by saying jesus i believe in you and all my reports are perfect and normal in jesus name thank you jesus praise you jesus Then she made an agreement prayer and gave me this prayer to recite on the rosary beads. In the name of Jesus, I am loosed from all infirmities. Thank you, Jesus. The mountain from my body melted like wax in the presence of my Lord. After the ultrasound was done, they could not make out whether the lump was benign or malignant. So they did the biopsy and told me that they will get the report on the 22nd of April but to my surprise I got a call from the doctors within 8 days and said that the lump is normal praise god thank you jesus praise you jesus i love you jesus